People spend billions every year on pets and pet accessories, but needless to say, a major part of that industry is dominated by dog and cat owners. But not everyone is satisfied with your run-of-the-mill house pets. In fact, some people choose to share their homes with some absolutely crazy animals. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of those crazy animals as they are people who actually own many of these pets. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Fox Juniper is known as the happiest fox in the world and it's no wonder why. Juniper is a viral sensation who has amassed nearly 3 million followers on Instagram. Jessica Coker of Florida got Juniper around 2016 and pretty soon she realized that she had to share the tiny sweetheart with the world and today Juniper is one of the top 10 pets on Instagram. And in fact, she is the only one that isn't a traditional cat or a dog. If you are wondering about the challenges that Coker had faced raising Juniper, you might be surprised to learn that she may be one of the simplest pets on today's list. As it turns out, Juniper is what is known as a tame fox. This type of fox displays over 4,000 genetic differences when compared with wild foxes. And the differences are crucial in making Juniper a suitable house pet. The origin of the tame fox is a fairly grim one. These foxes are a genetic variant created to make it easier for fur farmers to keep them. They demand less space and are more docile. And tragically, this means that a fox like Juniper is typically bound for a horrendous outcome. In Juniper's case, however, she was the runt of the litter and wasn't specifically born for farming. The passive traits, however, are still very prominent in her, and Coker couldn't be happier to be her mama. Talking about her famous fox, she said, quote, Every once in a while, life will throw you a gift. My gift just happened to have fur and fang-toothed grins. Surprisingly, Juniper isn't the only pet in the Coker house, and she definitely has a lot of willing playmates around, including a dog named Moose, a pair of sugar gliders named Peach and Petunia, and a younger male fox named Fig. Number 9. The Capybara Melanie Tipaldos is a proud rodent owner, but her pet of choice isn't a mouse or a guinea pig. Instead, she spends many hours a day caring for her pet Capybara named Gary. Capybaras are the world's largest rodent, and Gary weighed nearly 100 pounds. Capybaras are semi-aquatic, so Tipaldos keeps a large pool in her backyard to accommodate her big buddy. Tipaldos doesn't believe that her love for Gary is anything more than the love that most people would have for a dog or a cat. Not everybody sees it that way, however, and Tipaldos' love for Gary was the subject of a TLC show called My Crazy Obsession in 2012. And that's just a little rude. Let people love their pets. Number 8. Owl. In several parts of the world, it is perfectly legal to keep a pet owl, and that is just what Mola's owners have done. But keeping an owl can have its fair share of challenges. For one, owls have very sharp talons and beaks. This means that they are very hard on fabrics and woodwork. While giant owls can live as long as 30 years, a smaller owl like Mola will likely live around 10. But her owners are very determined to make the most of every second, and so is Mola. While most owls are opposed to being pets, as there is very little precedent for it in their natural environment, Mola actually displays no objection to her owner's affection. Number 7. Raccoon In late 2014, Rosie Kemp of Nassau in the Bahamas became the owner of a rather unique pet. She was looking out her bag window when one afternoon she saw a tiny one-month-old raccoon fall out of her tree. The small creature was very weak and suffering from a broken hind leg. Fortunately for Kim, she lives in the Bahamas, where it is perfectly legal to adopt a wild raccoon. Not one to interfere with nature, she waited patiently to see if the raccoon's mother would return for it, but after several hours, it was clear that the little guy was on his own out there. With all that cleared up, she simply had to do something. Kemp brought the tiny creature inside to nurse it back to health. She named him Pumpkin, and the pair have been inseparable ever since. Number 6. The Polar Bear Mark Dumas has a big fluffy white pet named Agui, but this isn't an American Eskimo or a big old Persian. Actually, Agui is an 800-pound polar bear, one of the largest land carnivores currently in existence. While most of us are fascinated with these enormous beasts when they're at a distance, it's hard to say that they're more interesting when we're right up close to them where they can get us. However, Mark Dumas is not one of us. He adores his pet, and he actually starts his day every day with an ice-cold dip with his best pal, Agui. In addition to swimming, the pair also enjoys some lazy afternoon naps and friendly wrestling matches, which I'm pretty sure Agui would actually win. Mark has been raising Agui for almost 30 years, and he remains the only person in the world who is known to have a closely bonded relationship with a polar bear. According to behavioral specialists, their very special relationship is more than unique, it's a true anomaly. This incredible connection has afforded Agui several experiences that most polar bears would never have, including being prominently featured in four movies. 
These movies are 1996's Alaska, Arctic Air in 2013, and the 2014 films Operation Arctic and The Journey Home. Needless to say, a gi isn't a great starter pet. In fact, before a gi, Dumas had raised several other exotic animals, including wolves, deers, and eagles. These days, Mark and a gi can be found up to their old tricks of their home in British Columbia, Canada. Number 5. The Kangaroo Jackson O'Doherty is an Australian comedian with nearly 2 million followers on Facebook, but this funny man seriously loves his pet, a tiny red kangaroo named Danian. Together, the two of them have become social media stars as they document their many adventures, including stopping for gas, playing outside, and even building sandcastles. O'Doherty may not have the most vicious creature on this list, but he definitely has one of the more exotic pets that we've seen. Number 4. An Alligator Mary Thorne loves her pet Rambo with all of her heart and she's had him for well over a decade. During that time, they've shared some pretty fond memories, including walks and dressing up in silly costumes. But there's one catch. You see, Thorne's pet isn't a cat or dog, as I'm pretty sure you figured out at this point. In fact, Rambo is a 6 foot 6 inch long alligator. Thorne got the gator when it was a little over a foot long. Rambo has a very rare skin sensitivity which led to his owner finding an assortment of fun outfits for him. As time went on, the locals around Lakeland, Florida began to take notice of the odd pair. And before long, they were making appearances at schools and local events. It seemed that Rambo was beloved by everyone who met him. However, in 2016, when she tried to renew her license to own Rambo, she got quite a surprise. According to Florida Fish and Wildlife, Rambo had grown too large for her property when he exceeded six feet. Unable to move to a larger property, it looked like Mary may have to give up her beloved gator. After months of grueling legal battles, though, Mary Thorne was finally allowed to keep Rambo, and the two of them are living happily ever after, especially in some silly outfits. Number 3. A Grizzly Bear Casey Anderson is a name that's very familiar to exotic animal enthusiasts. Anderson rose a national attention when he adopted an orphaned grizzly bear cub named Brutus from an overcrowded wildlife park named Yellowstone Bear World. From there, he adopted more and more animals, including mountain lions, wolves, wolverines, and even more bears. In 2006, Anderson was the subject of a National Geographic documentary called Expedition Grizzly. However, Casey Anderson isn't the only one raising bears. Up over in New York State lives a couple named Jim and Susan Kowalczyk, who have a rather unusual pet. Their pet's name is Jimbo, and he's 26 this year, and he happens to be a 680-pound grizzly bear who acts a lot more like a house cat than a vicious wild beast, at least according to the Kowalczyks. Jimbo is a big softie who likes cuddles when he's feeling blue. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My top pick today might just be one of the wildest creatures on today's list. Number 2. The Top Pick Brian Hahn is a man willing to risk it all to have one of the world's most dangerous carnivores as a pal. Hyenas are probably one of the most recognizable African predators, while many people associate hyenas with scavengers. In fact, only a small number of species are. The rest are pack-hunting carnivores. However, despite all this, Brian Hahn raised his very own pet hyena. From the day it was born, Hahn raised the hyena by hand and believed that it viewed him as a peer. Needless to say, one does not simply go out and purchase a hyena. In fact, Han acquired his illegally and had to raise it in secret. This might have been challenging enough on its own, but when he first got the animal, he lived on the 8th floor of a Miami Beach apartment building. Unlike striped hyena, spotted hyenas are extremely vicious predators, and that was exactly the species that Han wanted to own. But after a few months, the hyena, named Jake, simply got too big, and Han contacted the Miami Zoological Wildlife Association. But when he attempted to load the hyena into his carrier, an incident occurred that left him with a badly broken arm and a severe bite wound. Nonetheless, the transfer was complete, and to this day, he continues to visit him regularly. Their connection is inspiring, even if most people don't understand it. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Big Cats The idea of owning big cats definitely shouldn't be taken for granted, even though people have been doing it for years. 
The experience of owning one, coupled with the astounding number that are privately kept, truly makes this one of the craziest pets that people actually own. While some of the previous entries on today's list have been one-off or at least very rare instances with special circumstances, nearly 10,000 tigers are privately owned in the United States. When you compare that to the 4,000 currently in the wild, it paints kind of a shocking picture. Over the years, several big cat owners have become the focus of media attention, including Umaid Abakwesh of the United Arab Emirates. He is just one of the many collectors of exotic animals. And then you have people like Joe Exotic, who was the focus of the 2020 Netflix hit Tiger King. Given that these giant felines can weigh hundreds of pounds and are violent and agile predators, those raising them need to take special precautions and ensure that they are properly educated. But with so many felines being privately owned, many are kept in horrific conditions. One example is Ming, a 500-pound tiger who was forced to live in a tiny New York City apartment for well over a decade before she was released in a daring rescue operation. While many large cats are kept privately, it doesn't mean it's for everyone. Despite a price tag of around $1,500, anyone considering a tiger cub needs to remember that they will one day be a full-grown carnivore. Which of today's wild pets was your favorite? Which would you want to own? Which one would you never own? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.